Hey guys, Crafty Coder here. Wanted to do a video showing off the uh, new timing and security features that will be in the next uh, MotoBrain firmware update. These firmware updates are uh, sent over the air uh, from the app, and the app will also need to be updated, and that will also come over the air and will be available in the App Store uh, in the next couple of weeks, I suspect, along with the firmware. And uh, let's go over them. The two features are multi-tiered security and uh, user programmable startup delays on the outputs. So let's take a look at that. We select a MotoBrain from the list. Uh, there we go. We see a MotoBrain here. We'll look at the uh, security first. Okay, this is the new screen. Uh, password right there. It tells us uh, that we are currently logged in with super, super user uh, level security. We can click in here and log in with user level security. When we do that, we see that we have access to 1, 2, 3, and 8, but no longer have access to uh, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now, how is that done? Oh, likewise, we don't have access to certain inputs, 1, 3, 5, and 7, we have no access to. And that is programmed by somebody with a super user password here on this screen. So we select the uh, outputs that we want a regular user to have control over, and they are able to program those outputs, but they can't program the other ones. Same with the inputs. Now this was set up so that uh, vehicle upfitters who install these for their own customers will be able to uh, create a user password so that their customer has access to the MotorBrain app and can turn things on and see the telemetry, but can't break their sophisticated uh, triggering features and the other programming that they do. So this is a uh, tool for them. Now, the uh, timing. This was something that, uh, I don't know, maybe 25% of the users who have MotorBrains have actually requested quite a number. Uh, it was surprising that it was basically universally wanted and I hadn't thought of it at all. But uh, easy enough to do and we're eager to please. So what we're doing here is when you go to an input, or an output I should say, um, you can say I want a delay of a certain amount of time. By default, of course it's zero, and you can modify it. You get a range of options up to five minutes, and as low as zero seconds. So we'll set this to four seconds, and this one zero, fine, and we will set it up so that when input two goes high, input two goes high, outputs three and four will turn on after their program delay. So we just program their delay in the output settings for those circuits, and when we turn on output two, which is connected to input two in my test set up here. Yours, of course, your inputs will be con connected to whatever you want. I've connected each of my inputs to an, its respective output just for this example. So I turn on two, four goes on instantly, and then after four seconds, three goes on. Now four will shut off because it was pulling an amp and it's a setup as maximum of 500 milliamps. So that tr trigger went off, or that circuit breaker went off. But uh, now you see what we can do. And this should allow you quite a few interesting um, configurations if you don't want a uh, circuit to turn on until after the uh, ignition has had a chance to settle and there are no more uh, uh, high voltage spikes. That might be a good use for this. So um, there you go. Those are our features, security and uh, user programmable startup delays. Keep the good ideas coming. I'm happy to put them in the software for you.